is going on guys? So here's the latest update on the Project Pro Mod Mini Fireball Camaro. So like I said in the last video, we talked about RC and stuff. So here we have, we've had people ask, well, what are you gonna do for traction? It's got plastic tires. Well, here's what it is. I will put the link to the full, very detailed video on how to add or do this mod. It's a traction mod. Very cheap, very lightweight, basic hand tools, other than we did upgrade to this tire band that we made. It's still just 40 thousandths um, aluminum sheet metal from like a race car body and two pieces of angle iron, or it's aluminum, but that clamps it on once you get it glued and it makes it nice and uniform. So this is the stock tire and gearbox that we took off of the Camaro. This is the new tire. So, greatly, it's a big tire, small tire, right? See these gearboxes? Look at how uh, janky this was. So, the gearbox plastic melted and it's complete garbage. These don't hold up anyways. Typically, what we would see happen is the motors would get hot and then it would melt the motor bolt. So, we got away from that, and this is something new, guys. ML Toys Phoenix Gearbox. So this is what's going in the back end of um, Fireball. Now, I'll have to say, I said I would never spend more money on plastic gearboxes again. I'll just chain drive, go-kart, gas. But here I am, guys, because it's the rules, stock gearboxes. So this is a pretty good alternative. Now. I'm not going to get into a lot of details, but there's a lot of positives and I'm going to show you those in this video, but there are a lot of things that make it not exactly what I thought it was going to be. It's basically, it's not compatible with stock gearbox parts and I'll go over that. So um, here's a quiz for you guys. Why is there a white paint stripe on the tire? If you guys know what that's for, leave a comment in the video description there. So here it is, the Harbor Freight foam. Not gonna get into details. We used um, a caulk gun, and but this time we actually, instead of just doing a squiggly um, bead of caulk like we did in the video, we actually took this eighth inch by eighth inch square notch trowel and we troweled it on so we had a very consistent um, adhesion. It worked awesome. Um, I probably should just make two tire beads and when you guys do this it takes days for that glue to dry so just be patient and then after it dries you run your bead around the outside all right so gearboxes so check this out guys this is a ML toys performance ride on parts I think it is awesome that we have a company that's actually willing to attempt high performance parts remember guys these are engineered toys to go five miles an hour we've taken these some people i know are close to 30 miles an hour it's way beyond what the engineers designed so there's there's not tight tolerances or anything like that um so when you take it apart it's still got the four gear reduction right but if this is another one, so these are both uh, the, the Phoenix gearboxes. Here is a stock Power Wheels number seven, R. The R is revised because here is a stock number seven. Now, look at, see how thin this is right here? And then see how that's consistent thick and it's a soft and more pliable material. When we first got into adding traction, we were just shredding these. So this came out of a Mustang. If it's all you guys got and you're going 24 volts, you're gonna wanna do this mod. You pull out the first gear pin and you just replace it with a bronze bushing. Um, because what happens is, is you're spinning these double the speed, right? Well, that steel pin heats up and it ends up melting the gear and the case and then it wobbles and then you break stuff 
Um, people say, oh, get Metal Gears. Well, ML Toys offers a Metal Gear, guys. But what happens? You're just transferring the weak link to the next gear. So it just totally strips the second gear. It, it, it is what it is. Um, thought I had another one out that we've broken all of them. We've shredded every gear. We've broken gear cases in half. It's part of it, guys. Look at those Pro Mod guys. Um, Brian Martin is how, how many runs does he get out of his um, Pro Charger? You know, it's a perfect example. Have plenty of spares, guys, if you're getting into this racing. So, these gearboxes are definitely heavier because we've weighed them on the scale and they have, they're super well engineered. They're tighter tolerances. I will put a video um, next to each other and you can. So the plan is to wipe all this syrup out of here and use some good old fashioned park assembly lube for bicycles. Which is fine, you need to have some gear mesh, you know, you don't want it to bind. Um, so it's a little bit tighter tolerances, which means that you take, oh, I've got many, many 7R gear boxes and all of them, the gears are interchangeable. Okay, but when you go to put a gear on here, it doesn't fit because they made this thicker and taller. You guys see the difference there? And I'll put some pictures here too. And the most important one, guys, you see those reinforcing ribs? It's basically hollow, right? So your axle goes through there and just spins. Well, this one right in there, it's gonna keep it tight because it's actually got an inner bushing, I would call that. Now, one of the videos, I said tire, uh, tire shake on the big end on this Camaro, and I was like, what the heck is wrong? Well, my dumb ass put a uh, three-quarter hollow um, gearbox in it, so that axle was just flopping around. So, luckily, that was an easy fix. We're just gonna put in these Phoenix gearboxes. Now, the biggest negative of all, guys, these are a direct replacement heavy duty box for the Power Wheels Hurricane and some of the F-150s that got the tall tires. And they only can take, and I have to test this, a 15 tooth, because on the gearbox, if you guys see that right there, 1572. So there's, I think 72 um, teeth on that first gear. So it means you have to put a 15 tooth, where is that motor? Oh, right here. Like a 15 tooth pinion on there, right? I'm gonna see if it'll take a 16 tooth because I wanna say that the Dune Racer takes a 16 tooth gearbox. But that's a whole nother video, guys. So um, what we're trying to do here is make this reliable as possible, but I guarantee you we're gonna destroy stuff with 60,000 RPM brushless motors. But, so what we're doing is we swapped out the first gear on the Phoenix, okay? And the only gear that you can swap, I'm having trouble doing this with one hand. Well, if you guys notice, We've added a bearing, and that will spin freely. This radial bearing is butter smooth. So you do have a backup here, and we couldn't do the mod we do, like we drill this out. And this is, we've had okay luck with these right here, these self-centering drill bits. So you start small and you drill up in the drill press, but they still wobble a little bit. Ideally, guys, you'd want to put this on a lathe or have a machinist machine your um, hole for the bearing. And I will put the link to the description of on Amazon where we get these bearings. Um, you, once you drill it out, we just pop three of them in there. And 
you, it eliminates that whole melting of the first gear. So, here's the second gear out of here, right? That fits, but it's loose. So, we do have an idea that we can drill this out and put a quarter inch rod in here with a bearing. So we're looking into that. We're gonna run this right now, but more than likely if this fails, we're gonna drill that out, probably pay a machinist, and put a quarter inch bearing on there. Third gear out of a seven gear box, 7R, does not fit. But you could drill this out, right? So there's, there's things you can do. And then you saw the, so yeah, so here's the final drive gear for the 7R, does not even fit. Could you sand that out? Yes, you can, you can make things work. It's better than being too sloppy. That's what she said, right? So that is the gearboxes. So keep that in mind, you're gonna break stuff have extra parts because I know a lot of you guys are watching this to get ideas for your own builds. So we got tires, we got gearboxes, and the last thing in this video to keep this somewhat short is we swapped out the Mamba Monster 2s because these are not censored for the Mamba Monster X. This still takes 6S, but it has this sensor wire it goes to the motor so it senses where it is so there won't be any of that low speed stutter or they call it cogging. So we've got that. And then this also has to do, do, do this white wire on here and you can set that up so that on your radio you can control different things. So there's um, like a torque limiter. So you can do a lot of tuning if you've got way too much power. Um, there's so much involved. But we're going to get to those in later videos. But those are the upgrades on the old Pro Mod here. Here it is without the tires on it. I don't know if you guys have seen that before or not. Fully completed. It's literally, once the tires are cured, we will be ready for a test hit. And then if that's successful and things don't like literally burn up, we'll take the chassis apart and we'll paint everything and then we'll start tuning the power anyways guys if you like this crazy stuff please subscribe and like this button and then stay tuned for the next one hopefully it's going to be the first ever test drive of mini fireball thanks for watching